Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Join the family. On the menu today, we're doing a Chinese garlic ginger stir-fried fish. Really delicious. I truly, truly love this one. Not difficult at all and tastes absolutely wonderful. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. So let's get started by talking about our fish. Now, I'm using a dory fish today, which is frozen, so I had a nice kind of thick piece of ice all around it. I've defrosted that down, and then what I've done is I've pat dried it. You've got some tissue, you know, kitchen roll, and patted it as dry as I can. I've got there about 500 grams in total now. It's been defrosted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that up, and we're gonna flour it. So as you can see, I've cut that fish into kind of, you know, bite-sized pieces. And I've got it in a mixing bowl. And I've got just under a cup of flour there. I'm using a corn flour or corn starch. You could be using a wheat flour if you wanted, no problem. We're gonna heavily season it with salt and pepper. If you wanted, you could put some five spice powder in there or some chili powder if you wanted. We're just gonna get this mixed on to our fish and then we're going to go to the cooker and we're going to fry this off start with our fish get it all fried then set the fish aside then we're going to start with some lovely flavors and reintroduce the fish fish but at the moment our dusted fish is ready to be fried so i've got some oil in this wok here i've got maybe three or four centimeters i'm using a sunflower oil corn oil, you know, anything you like really, you know, works. We're just gonna get that nice and hot and then we're gonna just shake off the fish and we're gonna drop it in. Let that get nice and hot first. Okay, let's get a bit of fish and test this out, see if it's ready yet. Yeah, in that goes. Now this fish is very delicate, so we wanna kind of over fry it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Try and get it a bit crispy. I'm probably gonna do this fish in two batches. So yeah, don't overcrowd the pan. And for this size and this type of fish, and of course you could be using a different fish if you wanted, we're gonna go for about five to six minutes. I'll see you then. Okay, so that's perfect now. Now when I say overcook it, what I mean is we've got a really nice, crispy, tough exterior. That's gonna be beautifully soft in the middle because we're gonna refry this in a pan with other stuff later. So we need it to be fairly robust because like I say, this fish is very delicate and can easily break up. So like, I'm gonna get this out now and then I'm just gonna do one more batch and then we can move on to the next step. So our fish is ready there. We set that aside. We can now take a look at the other ingredients. I'm gonna point out the essentials here. So onions, essential. Ginger, garlic, green or spring onions. Fish sauce, soy sauce, oyster sauce. Now the vegetables that you add are entirely up to you. I'm going with mushrooms, some mange too, or green beans and some carrots. Like I say, mix them up how you want or not even at all. So all, the, all of the uh, amounts of all the ingredients are gonna be below. We're gonna start this off with a touch of oil. We're gonna add some black pepper. We're not gonna add any salt because we've got a lot of salt right there. Let's get to the cooker. Okay, so here we are back on the cooker. I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. We're gonna start off by dropping in our ginger. I'll cut mine in nice long strips like that. I think it looks great once the dish is finished. And there's probably, let's say two tablespoons of ginger and one tablespoon of roughly chopped garlic. You can just slice the garlic if you wanted. 
just a few seconds in that oil then infuse it give it a lovely flavor then we're going to hit this with our onion and I'm also now going to add my carrots if you were using something like celery you'd add that now as well keep this moving I'll see you in three minutes Fabulous. I'm now going to go in with my mosh chu or green beans. And if you're using like something like bell peppers, now's a good time to put them in. I'm now going to add some black pepper. Nice hefty pinch of black pepper or two. Now I'm not adding any chili to this, but you certainly could. You could add some fresh chilies in the mix or some cayenne pepper or something like that. I'm now going to put my last vegetable in, which is my mushrooms. And I'll be back in about another three to four minutes. Keep this moving. Absolutely fabulous. We've still got a nice crunch on our vegetables. And at this point, we're going to add Our oyster sauce. Our soy sauce. I'm using a light soy sauce. Our fish sauce, which you just need a tiny amount of because it's ultra salty. Some water. Quarter cup of water maybe there or something like that. Keep this going on this same heat and we're going to go for about just two to three minutes now. We're nearly done. Wonderful stuff. Really, really looking fantastic. Okay, time for our fish. Let's get our fish back in. <coughs> I'm going to change spoons now so I can spoon this around. Staying on this heat, two to three minutes. Let's get some beautiful sauce and flavors over that lovely fried fish. Okay, off goes the heat. Green or spring onions or scallions, whatever you call them, in the mix. If you wanted a little bit of cilantro or some sesame seeds, that's it, beautiful. Serve this with some rice. You've got yourself an incredible garlic ginger, Chinese styled fried fish. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please do join us on other social media, Facebook and so and so, Instagram and all that other stuff. I've been told to say that. Um, yeah, lots of love.